Tiafima Lopez reportedly fought last weekend with air leaking into his chest, something that certainly could have been deadly. Welcome back everybody, I'm Dr. Brian Suter, and in this video, we're gonna talk about this just absolutely unreal story about Teofimo Lopez having what we call a pneumomediastinum during his fight last weekend. Do me a favor here, if you haven't yet subscribed, click that button down here so you can be up to date with future videos. This story was put out by Mark Kriegel at ESPN, I'll link it down below, and at least one of the doctors that they quote in here, this Dr. Linda Dahl, an ENT surgeon, these are like the experts with head and neck conditions, and so a very believable, reliable source here. According to his records, he was diagnosed with something called pneumomediastinum with, quote, extensive air in the retropharyngeal space whenever he was seen in the emergency department after his fight. Looking at our biodigital anatomy tool here, the mediastinum is the central cavity within the thorax or within the chest. Pneumo is a prefix that means air, so pneumomediastinum means air within the mediastinum. And there's not supposed to be air in there typically. This is just like pneumothorax, air within the thorax around the lungs from something like a collapsed lung. The outer borders of this mediastinal cavity are going to be the linings of the lung on either side, the back portion of this mediastinal cavity is going to be the thoracic vertebrae, and then the front is gonna be just behind the sternum. So if we're really talking about this sort of area within the inside of the chest, that's considered the mediastinum. As I said, air is not supposed to be in here. And so when air accumulates in this space, if it builds up enough pressure, it can push on the vital organs that sit in this area, namely the heart. Of course, very important for pumping oxygenated blood throughout the body. The doctors believe that the leak came from a tear in his esophagus. So two structures in the back portion of the mediastinum are going to be the esophagus, the food pipe that helps deliver food down to the digestive tract, and then the trachea or the windpipe. So injuries to any of these two structures can cause air to leak into that mediastinal cavity, build up pressure, and cause the types of symptoms that Lopez was experiencing earlier in the week before the fight. This can be deadly in the sense that if there's further damage, that air continues to accumulate and more and more pressure builds up that pressure can push on the heart and prevent the heart from adequately beating and pumping blood to the rest of the body. It can build up enough structure to cause the windpipe to collapse, it can affect the lungs, and so if this continues to progress and gets worse from say the chest trauma, any sort of head and neck trauma during a fight, it could certainly get to a level where it could be deadly. Most of the time these are benign, meaning they don't cause life-threatening complications, but in a high-level athlete who's going into a combat sport, who's gonna be really exerting themselves at high level, that's when this gets more risky and severe. The story doesn't mention if they had to do any sort of surgery to repair the esophagus, but generally speaking, oftentimes that air, once the source is found and it quits accumulating, just kind of gets reabsorbed by the body over time. If there is some underlying anatomical defect that needs to be repaired or isn't repaired adequately, then yeah, this could continue to be an issue for Lopez. He mentioned his history of asthma, and certainly in patients who have asthma exacerbations, that prolonged forceful coughing can cause damage to these areas around the mediastinum, that then cause leaking into that area. So having asthma does put him at a risk of something like this going forward, but overall it still is a pretty darn rare thing. Thankfully they found it before he got on a plane because what can happen as the pressure decreases when you get up in the air, that volume of gas within the mediastinum will actually expand. So what could initially be mild effects from a small amount of air in that space, as that volume increases, it takes up more space and can put more pressure on those vital organs. So in summary, the story is not some crazy exaggeration. This is a very real thing with very serious implications. If he would have gone to the hospital and this would have been found on his scans, there's no way they would have let Lopez fight. So this really was something that was very serious and I think certainly would have affected his performance in the fight. That's it for the video, everybody. Let me know as always any questions or comments down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.